Hello everyone, welcome back to Dyson Spear Program. This is the new factory builder, just came out in early access. We're just working on getting a, our base, our original base set up. Getting lots of stuff automated here. And the next thing we need to do is make some matrix labs. I have no idea where we want to put these because I do not know what they input. So I'm just going to throw one here for now. Matrix lab. You can use it to make super matrices or research technologies that require them to unlock. The super matrices are the source code of the center brain for maintaining the whole world. You can upload as many super matrices to the center brain as possible. You can be benefit to unlock more actual world technologies by operating the home world simultaneously. Okay. So it has two modes. We can make matrices or we can research. I guess. So this takes those and those, which we make. All right, we'll leave it there for now. Let's see about this belt work we're going to have to do. So now we need to raise it up, right? Does that work? Yeah, it does appear to work. All right, so that I like that. That's cool. It's pretty easy. Put that there. And then make this one go here. Ooh, spin it around. There we go. Now we need a whole bunch of sorters, which I don't think we have on us. Not quite enough. Should probably automate these as well at some point. Where are we at here? And one more. Don't really need their inventory open while we do this. Tesla coil right about here. So we're making these. Alright, let's read this. The matrix lab is the hub of connecting the real world and the center brain. It has two modes, matrix and research. The matrix mode is to produce matrices. The research mode is to consume the super matrices to research technologies. It can only research the technologies that require the super matrices to unlock. Once select the research mode, the matrix labs will automatically research the currently ongoing technology and all matrix labs share the same research progress. This will greatly increase the research speed by using multiple matrix labs to research the same technology at the same time. Each matrix lab contributes a basic research speed of 60 hash per second. Only you put all the matrices required by the technology into the matrix lab it will start research. The matrix labs can be built on the planet's surface but can also be built in the vertical direction. Okay, so we can stack them Vertical con vertically constructed matrix labs only supplying sufficient raw materials on the lower level. Matrix labs will automatically transport the raw materials to the upper level and transport the products back to the first level at the same time. Also, just set the operating mode of any layer and the matrix labs and the other layers will automatically synchronize. Super matrices are the source codes of the center brain for maintaining the home world. Okay, I... Alright, good enough. I'm not really sure what's happening, but sure. So let's go in here. What does this need? Super. Okay, so we need matrices for this. So if we put another one of these on top, what does it do? Does it produce? Okay. But we also need some of these for research, right? So what if we put two here for research and then we put a sorter in between will it move them now I'm out of these another thing I should automate we need to automate a lot of things research mode
All right, so they're moving across. Can I put two of these here? I wonder. To double our output. I can, okay, interesting. Oh, they're full. All right, so we need to set our research. Activate. So it is, yeah, okay, it's perfect. It's doing it for me. That probably, these probably take a lot of power, don't they? Oh my goodness, we are way over our capacity. Man, that's crazy. I just put a bunch of these down. Like, <laughs> recently. Apparently I need to put a bunch more. It's crazy. Well, this research is for thermal power, so that'll help. So that'll give us more power options. Hopefully. Hopefully we have something like a thermal source. Thermal power source. Around here. Alright. You can now use a thermal power station. It is a power generation facility that consumes combustibles to generate electricity and has energy efficiency. Oh, okay, so this is... This is what the coal is for. Alright. So we will put this here. And then we'll run a belt from here. Oh, that's it for belts. Rare to belts. How do I feed this? Why won't it take? Do I need this first? I'm not sure what's happening. Does it need to get fed from a certain direction? I mean, I know I can hand feed it, but I don't want to hand feed it. You know what I mean? Okay, so it's working. It generates a lot of power. But how do I fill it automatically? It doesn't seem to... There's no... I don't know. I don't see where the input would be. Try this again. Need valid connection. So where... Alright, I'm going to have to play around with this, obviously. You know, let's take this down. try this way see if this will let it feed yes okay apparently you just need to be on the side so what do you need to build these <laughs> yeah we're gonna make two more of these Fill up our suit. So do these like feed into each other? Kind of looks like they do. All right, I need to go grab some belts out of this, the belt storage. I need to increase my movement speed too. Where's that at in the tech tree? Why is that way up there? Is this movement speed? Oh, that uses those. I can't. Well, I can research this. 
construction drone, sure. Just because I can research it. What am I over? Oh, grabbing belts out of the storage. Oh, look at all the belts. Beautiful. That's what we want to see. How's this doing? Is it going up or down or staying the same? Staying the same, roughly, it seems. What about these? Staying the same? Yep. That's fine, I guess. I don't get any more of these. Should probably auto I know I keep saying this, but I should probably automate those. What does it even need? Alright now. Now we're making power. Geez, we're still using half of it though. Almost. Is this keeping up? Yeah, this is keeping up. I'm gonna take Is it keeping up now? Yes. Okay. Take that for the old suit. Oh, yeah, look at this. Look at this research flying. Flying. Communication control level one. Plus one construction drones. Nice. Alright, so let's look at the tech tree here. It's melting purification. Ooh, silicon ore. Energetic graphite. Purify rock, coal to obtain graphite. High purity silicon. So we can make silicon from stone, it looks like, if we do that. What else do we have? It's down here. Fluid storage. I don't really need fluids yet, though, right? High efficiency plasma control, no. no we will need that soon. What about what's semiconductor material? Let's do uh, ooh, improved logistics. Four direction splitter. Sorter Mark II. Three trips per second per grid. What do we, what's the current one do? One and a half, so it's twice as fast. Use to distribute cargo to different conveyor belts or balance multiple conveyor belts. You can set the filter and priority. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do improve logistics. Sure. Why not? So we have... Do we have any more iron anywhere? I know we have copper over there. Our stupid wind turbines. So that's that's stone here, right? Yeah, I think it is. Stone means more stone, coal, more stone. Where is all the iron? Oh, here's some. More coal. Okay, that's good. Oh, here's here's where all the iron is over here. So, wasn't there copper here somewhere? Right there. I want iron and copper close to each other. More iron. All right. Well, here's the iron cluster. Jeez, that's a lot of iron. Oh, the irony. More coal. More stone, more stone, more copper. Alright. What's the plan here? I'm gonna have to start thinking big. Got a nice little bootstrap now. We, we gotta start thinking. Thinking ahead for later in the game here.
So when this smelter is keeping up all by itself, this one's not even doing anything. Yeah, I could be could be doing more with this for sure. All right, let's make a bunch of these. Or make one. All right, just so need some iron ingots. It's okay. I think we have iron ingots. Oh yeah, we got iron ingots. Proof logistics system. All right, you have unlocked a splitter for direction. It has three different styles. Could be used to diverge cargo or balance multiple conveyor line belts. Okay, that's cool. We will take advantage of that at some point, but not right now. Let's see, what else do we want? Steel smelting? Under extremely strict and controllable temperature conditions, using a smelter to smelt iron ingots will improve the crystal form of materials further, can obtain better mechanical properties. Oh, it doesn't need coal. Okay, just three to one though. Whew. Let's start that. Then we'll do this one. Kind of just make our way down, I think. Alright, so what was the plan here? What we were doing? Do we want to automate this? Mm, that's a lot of stuff. We're going to make some by hand, though. This is what we were going to do when we were going to start gonna run some cables over what's this need iron so how could we do that no oh this setup is a mess what a disaster that's fine disasters are good gotta learn gotta learn by doing it's the best way to learn Okay, right there works. Max distance. So if you hold it down, it does not work like Factorio. In Factorio, if you hold it down, it'll keep building at max distance. Did not do that for me here. That's fine. Can't expect everything to work the same as Factorio. there. Gonna want one over here as well. There works. Okay. So where was the copper? This copper's over there. I wish these little lakes were in here. I need to know. Can, is there anything in here like that lets me fill stuff in, I wonder? Ooh, environment modification. Collect soil pile from above zero altitudes and use them to fill up the ocean to make the factory construction more convenient. Nice. So, needs, oh, it needs steel and stone to make foundations. Pave the world, baby. Pave the world. Alright, let's, let's go back here and just... We'll worry about that later. In retrospect. Let's just keep making stuff until we run out. You know what I mean? So we're going to move this to the other side. Move this. Put you right here. down a few more smelters here why not we got this mine here we might as well take advantage of it right that's my mindset at this point Ooh, do we want hide no I don't think we need the high capacity got 
feel like the normal, excuse me, the normal capacity is keeping up just fine. So are those all powered there? Okay, so that, uh, this Tesla tower was in a good spot. Copper. Copper. And copper ingot. All right, now we're gonna go over and do the same with iron. Expand it to the max. And then we're gonna change this middle section. We're gonna tear everything up and change it. Oh, and apparently we're gonna need more of these. See, now this I'm worried about. This is keeping up. Just barely keeping up. So we need more iron. But I mean, I could put an extra miner in, right? Like over on this side, where we're not tapping it yet. This way we're tapping everything. Right? We'll have to belt everything around, but that's fine. Yeah, this is just barely keeping up. So we'll need more iron, but that's fine. We can do more iron. We got lots of belts. Alright, which direction do I want to go with this belt? This way? Come right through there. Or can we go over top? What if we go up? Yeah, well, let's just do that. These belts are pretty flexible. Well, let's get one of these fancy splitters. Alright, so we need to pull this belt, these belts up. And splitter here. So how do we set the mode? Splitter with four directions. It can split the passing cargo or balance the cargo on multiple conveyor belts. The splitting speed depends on the conveyor belt speed. Use the tap key to switch between different styles, and click it to set priorities and filters. Okay, well, I guess I gotta put the belts going to it first. So belt, okay, I was wondering, are belts sufficient or do I need... I don't need sorters. Alright, so splitter four direction. No, I don't want a splitter four direction. No, I want a I want a merger. How do I change to a merger? So what happens if I put a belt coming out this way? Well, that appears to work. Alright. Perfect. Iron production is increased. We will play around with that in the next video, though. That's all for this one. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.